hello everyone welcome back to the channel today in this video we are going to explore how to use the newly released lora models called ace plus a batch of flux based lora models developed by alibaba ai labs ace plus is a toolkit for image editing based on the flux transformer architecture according to the documentation these models can handle a variety of tasks including image creation object editing portrait manipulation and subject alignment the toolkit is designed to make image editing more intuitive and efficient for example you can manipulate subjects in an image transfer objects from one image to another or edit portraits using masks this makes it a powerful tool for both casual and professional use local editing which allows you to edit specific parts of an image using masks next portrait editing that focuses on face swapping and portrait manipulation and the third is subject transfer that enables you to transfer object or subject from one image to another i have down downloaded all three models and they are surprisingly lightweight for instance the subject transfer model is around 150 mb making it easy to integrate into your workflow to get started with ace plus you will need to download the lora models from hugging face the files are organized into three folders local editing portrait and subject once downloaded save these files in your confui models folder specifically in the lora subfolder the models are compatible with confui so you don't need to rename or modify them now let's jump right into the comfy ui workflow first download the workflow from comfyuiblog.com and once downloaded load it in your comfy ui in my workflow i have connected three lora models simultaneously to manage which which model is used during image generation i have added a switch from the impact pack This allows me to control which LoRa model is active for each image generation. I'm using a get and set node via the JK node with an input number to select the desired LoRa model. At the top of the workflow, I have added a load image node for editing. For this example, I'm using a bag as a subject. to demonstrate how the subject lora model works so i have to resize the item image the bag in this case to fit in the model's hand for safety i have added a remove background node to ensure the item image has a clean white background this step is crucial if your item image has a complex or non white background next you will input your text prompt like i have added this a stylish woman elegantly holding a tan leather tote bag with a unique curved frame and contrast stitching she is dressed in a chic modern out outfit possibly a blazer and jeans or a classy dress standing in a well lit minimalist background the bag is the focal point with soft shadows and a professional photo shoot aesthetic now select the ace plus mode 3 for subject you want to use there are three choices one is for local editing two is for portrait for face swaps or portrait manipulation and the third one is subjects for transferring objects or subjects into the image and in this case we'll use three as subjects the subject mode is particularly interesting it allows you to place a mask and insert an object into the mask area to use the subject mode you will need to create a mask you will manually highlight the area 
where the object should be placed. Here the mask area remains black and only the highlighted area where the objects will go turns white. And I see Laura use in painting to fill the masked area with the desired object. They are built on flux models, specifically flux fill which I have used in previous workflows for virtual triones. In this workflow, the in-paint model conditioning node is used for both IC LoRa and ACE+. Plus. It processes the image and mask, then passes the data to the K sampler for generation. The final output is decoded using the VAE decode node. Finally, the result has been generated and you can see her posture is relaxed and her hand gracefully grips the back's handle. The lighting highlights the back's texture and details, making it look premium and fashionable. Once it's generated, I like to upscale it for better quality. And for this, I use the flux diffusion model. The upscaler is set to 4 times, which is 4x which significantly improves the clar clarity of the image. Let's try testing another example to see how this works in practice. Imagine you are running an e-commerce site and want to update a model's outfit for a new season. Here is how you can do it. Load the base image and the item image. Use the subject mode to transfer the outfit into the base image. Clean up the mask area to ensure the outfit fits perfectly and generate the image and crop out the unnecessary parts. Clean up the mask area to ensure the outfit fits perfectly. Let's generate the image. Result has been generated and in this case, I changed the model's outfit to a navy blue tailored blazer over a white button-up shirt, slightly unbuttoned at the top, and the results are impressive. After generating the image, I upscaled it using the Ultimate SD Upscale node. The upscaled image was saved in a folder named Flux Ace, comparing the initial in-painting result with the upscaled version. The difference is clear. The upscale image has more detail, especially in the hair, face and clothing. Let's wrap this up. We have successfully tested the ACE plus subject LoRa model and it's clear that it has several practical applications. For example, you can use it for local editing in print on demand, e-commerce like placing a logo on a mug or a product like headphones. Let's try another example to see how this works. Imagine you have a mug image and you want to place the logo on the mug. So here is how you can do it. Use the local editing node to create a mask on the mug. You can also adjust the size of the mask. Now add a prompt like a close-up of a matte black ceramic mug on a wooden table with steam rising from a hot beverage inside and the value should be 3 to generate the logo on the mug. Now let's generate the image. The result has been generated and the AI has placed the logo on the mug. It indeed is impressive. The logo isn't just pasted flat mug. Instead, the AI adjusts its angle and curvature to fit the mug shape naturally. While the logo might not be clear, crystal clear in a white shot, the placement and perspective are accurate. For production quality images, you can always upscale the output later. And to fix this white area, you can always use Photoshop. Now let's move on to the portrait LoRa model. This model is designed for face swaps and portrait manipulation. Here is how I tested it. I have uploaded two AI generated images, one for the face and 
one as the base image manually mask the face area in the base image moving on to next use a prompt like switch the face of the character and make them smile without showing teeth and then next is select ace plus mode and here the value should be 2 now let's generate the results the result has been generated and the generated face often has noticeable artifacts especially around facial features even with simple prompts like no facial expressions the results can look unnatural or robotic while the portrait lora model works it has some limitations the model maintains con consistency in terms of face structure but the quality isn't on par with other face swapping tools like arif actor or deep face lab as mentioned in the hugging face documentation the is plus model is still in development and resolving artifacts is a work in progress for now i wouldn't recommend the portrait lora model for high quality face swaps it's better suited for subject transformation tasks like transferring objects or clothing between images that's it for this walk through if you have any questions or want to share your results feel free to leave a comment don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye